Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to another Let's Play of Broken Age. We are here sitting back and relaxing, and listening to some soothing tunes on the harp. This is Symphony Number no. 4, being played by Hexipal. What a beautiful melody. Now, oh, isn't this lovely? Isn't this lovely? Sitting back and relaxing and listening to some beautiful music being played. Only, jo only joking. <laughs> that would be my my classical radio station voice. If I did a uh, did a radio show uh, playing that kind of music, that's the way I'd speak. Hi there, this is Stampy. Oh, okay, sorry, I'm done, I'm done. No more. Sorry, I know you don't like that. <laughs> I know it's weird, I won't speak like that anymore. Uh, but yeah, I have been uh, sitting here for about the last five minutes or so, uh, listening to some of this harp music in the uh, in the background while <laughs> I was kind of just uh, setting up to, to record the, the episode. And yeah, I do feel uh, a little bit relaxed. Uh, what I don't know, however, is how this harp music is helping me in any way whatsoever. But, oh well, it's nice. I'm actually going to go back to, um, you know there's those people? The weird people. Uh, well, not people, weird diamond creature robot things you, you know you know the things down here that i'm talking about if you saw the last episode then you know what i'm talking about and if you didn't see the last episode then why didn't you watch it please watch it anyway uh, yeah these little guys i thought that playing the harp might make them come to these, like the harp these or something their own for a really long no time. it looks like it looks like it's not made any difference let's try bringing the um the little music guy to them maybe see if they're they're gonna make friends with each other or well, hopefully they don't attack each other hopefully they are all gonna go get along as so let's go and uh, pick this uh, little guy up and uh, let's go uh, back to them, shall we? And uh, let's pass them over and uh, see whether they uh, whether they do get on and whether they uh, they are good friends. So let's go put him down there. Oh, I love his little happy face. Oop. So they're, they're saying hello. Oh, my one knows six notes because I'm from the future. <laughs> they think I'm some sort of god. Oh, they really like you. Maybe a little too much. I'd better not leave you here with them. Oh, they're all upset now. It said, it said in the subtitle sad, but that sounded more like angry if you ask me. Um, oh, look, oh, look, they're following me. Aha! Shall we see if we can get them into the uh, the music room? I reckon we've got to make them play instruments. I, I can't think why we need to make them play instruments, but there seems to be, like, enough instruments oh, for all of them, hey, maybe, if they can use some of these like ones. I just, I, have, I just have a feeling like I need to make them play. Oh, this one's got a little, uh, like, a little trumpet anyway. Uh, this one seems to be the conductor. This one's just got a, a bow. It uh, looks like a, like a, like a, a bent, I don't know what instrument that, that is supposed to be. And is that one holding, like, I think that's like a, like a microphone stand type thing. And oh, oh I scared them all off. Oh, they've all run away. Oh, they're all, they're all coming back again. Uh, all right, let's go and set this guy off playing the, uh, the harp again and uh, see, see if they do anything. I love the way the, even the, uh, the harp looks happy. Yeah, ah. took of those strings. He's actually pretty good. I think I'll let him play for a while. Ah, okay. They seem to be enjoying it. Can I do anything with them really now? They know how to follow the leader. These guys really know how to follow no, the leader. Okay, I don't know how that's helped me. Well, I know how it's helped me. It's not supposed to do anything here. It's just distracted them. Now that they're um, uh, they're all distracted, I can go to you know they were kind of blocking the uh, the pathway. Uh, now they've all moved off. That I should be able to to head past. And uh, there was some sort of lever there. It seemed to be like some sort of important power button or something. Uh, let, let's just pull it and just see what happens. What? Oh, I just pull it off. Hey, this switch is just an old drum mallet. I hope the engine's not just an old tuba. Oh, we needed a drum mallet, didn't we? There's the, the drum kit. Uh, let's go and have a little look behind here first and see what there is. Oh, there's a there's a whole other room. Oh, there's another one. Is this a, a real lever or another drum mallet? There, now the power's back on. I think. Okay, well, we've powered something on. I mean, the ship was powered anyway, wasn't it? Ah, right. This looks like a, like a, a much more powered up area. Uh, hopefully this is... This has done something good. <laughs> oh look! Oh look! There's a there's a wire uh, heading upstairs somewhere. All right. So before we go back in the the music room and uh, try and make my little guy play the drums, uh, let's go and have a, another look uh, upstairs and uh, see what has been powered up. Um, aha! The wire's gone to this thing. Um, I think this has made the uh, uh, the death ray uh, probably a little bit more powerful. Hey, Alex. Not now, Shay. I need to get through to someone who can get us out of this mess. Well, wait a minute. Alex Alex could use the, the radio. I got that radio. Where is it? Yeah, I got the, the radio. Do you reckon he could use this to try and uh, send for, for help? Maybe uh, speak to uh, Shay's mum? How did you get that old thing working? Never mind. Let me have it. I can use it to call Aruna and straighten out this mess once and for all. No, don't call Aruna. Call the, the other ship if you can. Hey, Alex? Not now, Shay. I need to get through to someone who can get us out of this mess. That's what you said before, but it hasn't helped at all. Right, well, this up here is powered now. Which is good. So may maybe if now, uh, if I go as Bella and uh, try and press the uh, the button that she has, uh, maybe it's going to actually do something uh, useful. 
Uh, I can go and uh, give that a little bit of a, a go in a little bit. Uh, but for now, uh, let me go and try and give the uh, the mallet uh, to this guy here. And uh, let's just pass it to him and let's just see if he does start playing the uh, the drums anyway. I don't know. I'm not saying to hit him. I was trying to pass it to him. <laughs> yeah, that's enough heart. Movement. Yeah, so there we go. We've uh, got them stopping playing. Uh, these guys all seem a little bit upset now the the harp stopped playing. Wow, they really like my little hexapel. They really want to just stick around though. So let's go and set him over here and uh, see if we give him the uh, the mallet or whether he's going to to start playing the uh, the drums. Um, hmm. That's not a very loud way to play the drums. Uh, maybe it's a jazz thing. Oh, can I not? Can I not do anything? Can I mix him with the the mallet now? Aha, I reckon that's what I need to do. All right, let's plonk him back down again and to see if this works now. Play the drums, little fellow. Um, hmm. <laughs> that's not a very loud way to play the drums. Uh, maybe it's a jazz thing. I, I, I don't think he actually knows what he's doing. I think he was kind of just waving his arms in the air. Um, I don't know, do you reckon I need to reprogram him to, to play the drums? Um... I'm not sure. Well, let's go, let's go and do what I said. Let's go and switch to, to Bella. And uh, let's go and stand by the... Uh, yeah, let's go try and use the Death Ray again. And uh, see if it does anything now. And uh, now that it's all powered up. Uh, can I can I say to, to use it? Do I click it on myself? All right, let's uh, press this again. And uh, see if uh, anything happens. There we go. It's firing it again. I don't know if it's got more power than it did before. Let's, uh, let's go and uh, find what? out. Not again. Bella, when are you going to get control of your temper? Hmm... I don't think it really made a difference. Oh, you know what it did oh, do though? Again. Ah. It got rid of uh, Alex, and so now oh, maybe um, maybe we I could use the um, maybe I could use the radio now that Alex cat, is Alex. gone. Could be uh, something that I could maybe try and do. Uh, let me let me go back to to old Shay, and uh, let me go and um, uh, head upstairs uh, to where um, uh, where Alex was, and uh, hopefully if he's not there, are these guys gonna follow me. Oh, you they're gonna come upstairs with me? Do you reckon they can even climb ladders? Oh, Alex is back here again. All right, let's go back to, to Bella and uh, let's get her to um uh, to use the the death ray again and see if it gets rid of uh, Alex. And then that way I can go and um I can maybe do do huh. something with the uh, the radio. Or is it not doing huh. anything now? Didn't work that time, but it should. Oh, do you reckon I need to go and um? Or maybe I've got to go and turn the the switch back on as Shay. Yeah, look, it's not powered anymore. Right, back downstairs, back to the lever, pull the switch, go back up, yada, 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 do this, do that, do that. <laughs> oh, no, they're going to block me again. All oh, right, go put the guy back playing the harp, come back here, do the switch, power it up, fire the death ray as Bella, get Alex downstairs, and then maybe I'll be able to use the radio. I don't even think this is going to help me, but it's worth a try. Can I even play the harp with the uh, the hammer? I don't think that's how you're supposed to play the harp. Oh, it's working. It's working. He's actually pretty good. I think I'll let him play for him. That's pretty impressive that he can play the harp with a hammer. I've never seen a, a harp player <laughs> use a, a hammer before. All right, let's go back down here and let's go and try and do this uh, this whole thing again. So I'm going to uh, switch the uh, the power back on. If I pull it back down now. Hmm. Maybe off is the way to go. Is this on? on? Okay, okay, yeah, this, this is on. I thought the, uh, the light was going to go on. All right, let's go back upstairs now, and let's uh, let's try this out again. I'm still not sure uh, if this is uh, going to, to work or not, uh, but we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. So let's go back over to uh, to Vela now, and uh, let's go and see uh, if she does the button and we get rid of Alex, or uh, whether I can actually do anything. Uh, go on, yep, use the uh, the old little button then. Set off the, the death ray, yada, yada, yada. Oh, no, I missed. It was almost about to melt not down. Again. Not again. i got to go fix it. What are you doing, Bella? <laughs> you can tell that I've done this before, can't you? All right, let's go and um, let's go and see whether I can do anything now that uh, Alex should have left the room. Hopefully, he's still going to be gone by the time I switch back to Shay. Oh, no, he's already back again. He's already back again. And where where am I? Where Where's Shay? Oh, I was, I was hiding in the, the doorway. Um, That didn't really help then. All I can think to do is to now... Uh, try and somehow uh, make it uh, so that uh, this little guy plays the the drums, but I've not seen anywhere uh, any notes uh, about how um, how I'd wire him. May maybe it's on Vela's side. A lot of the time, uh, when you're finding out how to wire them and stuff, it's on the the other person's side. So I know that there was those baby pictures, uh, but they didn't really help me. Uh, let me let me look at my hexy pal. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how this is going to to help me really. Well, actually, because this one just keeps waving the, the flashlight, that could kind of work for making it bang the drums. So maybe, yeah, look, if imagine that instead of a flashlight, that was a, uh, a drum mallet. Maybe if we did that, then it would be able to, to do the, the drums. Let me see if this will work. So let me, let me try and draw uh, this layout, and, uh, and then I can go and copy it uh, across. 
Uh, so let me try and I'm going to do a very quick sketch. Uh, it's always handy to have a, a pen or paper uh, at hand when doing this. So it's red there, blue there, and yellow there. Right. Uh, so I've made a little note uh, on my on my whiteboard. Uh, so if I try and wire the um, uh, Shay's little uh, hexy pal, uh, the same as that one, and uh, maybe it's going to swing the the mallet uh, the same way uh, as uh, that one was uh, swinging the uh, the flashlight, and uh, maybe uh, this yeah, could uh, this could work. So let's see whether rewiring it uh, works at all. Anyway, and all well, actually, uh, before we do this, I am uh, one second going to make a a very quick note uh, of how it's wired now because <laughs> I don't want to have to forget and uh, do this uh, all over again. So it's blue there, yellow there, and red there. Is that right? Yep. There we go. So I made a quick note of how this one is and now let's try and wire it like the the other one so it was blue uh, down here uh, to that one there and then it was uh what color is it, is it red next or yeah i think it's yellow next and yellow i think goes from here uh, over to this one here uh, that's right and then i think the red one should go from here down to here let's see if it let's see if it does anything different now um oh yeah look it's swinging um, That's how you play. No, it's not supposed to do that on the harp, but if I put it down on the drum, let's see if it plays the drum. I still don't know how this would help me, but I could give it a go. Looks like it's going to work. Yay! Oh, I'm making a big racket. I'm sure that was some way helpful, but I have no idea how. Hey, what's going on down here? Put those things down and be quiet, please. I'm trying to talk to Laruna upstairs and I can't even hear myself. Now put that down. Oh, while they're fighting? I could maybe go and try and make the uh, the thing melt down. If I go switch it on now, uh, while these guys are, are distracted, uh, maybe then that way uh, I would be able to uh, to make the uh, the entire ship melt down. I still don't know if that's a good idea while we're all in it, uh, but that seems to be what I what I need to do. And it might be, you know, whether it's good or bad progress, progress nonetheless. <laughs> in these uh, adventure games, uh, you can never actually die. So I know that no matter what, like. I should be safe. It might not solve the puzzle, uh, but I should at least be uh, safe. Uh, so with uh, that logic, I think it's worth a go. Oh, how's he back here already? You were downstairs fighting for the mallet. I was just trying to get rid of you. Okay, maybe this isn't what I'm supposed to do then. Or oh, maybe if I don't go back, I don't really need to go back upstairs, do I? Right, let's go back down here and uh, let's go and uh, move him back over to the, the drums. And uh, then yeah, instead it. of going upstairs, I'm just going to switch straight to, to Vela. Uh, and then that way, uh, hopefully when she sets it off, uh, the whole place is going to, I don't know, Go boom, or, or do something beneficial. Hmm. That's not a very loud way to play the drums. Oh, has he switched around the wiring again? Sneaky little what name. Right, let's go and um, <laughs> go and do this again then. So it was yellow uh, from here to here. Uh, oh no, this is the, the wrong one. No, that was the right one. It's just, uh, it's not yellow first. It's blue first, isn't it? So blue from there to there. Uh, yellow was down here. I think I've just about memorized the way I've got to wire these. Right. And then red down there like that. I'm now going to set him off drumming. Uh, the uh, Alex should come straight down and fight for the, the mallet. And uh, while they're fighting over the uh, the mallet, I'm going to switch over to Vela and very quickly uh, try and use the uh, the old death ray and uh, see whether anything happens now. Uh, now that Alex uh, is downstairs uh, rather than uh, inside of the uh, the room. Right, let's, let's see if anything different happens. It might not do, but it's worth a go. That's firing. I don't think I'm going to hit anything. Oh, but look. Aha. Uh, should we do something about that? Oh, I don't think we should touch the young man's things, dear. Um, is this gonna uh -oh. be okay? Looks like that old ship is having some sort of radiation meltdown. Space Weaver, evasive action! I told you, Kat. I cannot override the path once. If we're touching that ship when it melts down, we'll melt down too. Are you telling me that the Model 6X doesn't even have the basic self-preservation and hazardous object avoidance capability of a Series 4? Oh, sure. Play that card. <sighs> Backing up. Oh, it's moving! Is it gonna move? I think I've done it. Yes, they can! Why don't they just move out of each other's way? Why do they just stay that close if they do have the ability to move? Stupid space weaver. Right, so we, we've backed up a little bit now. Um, that's good. Um, should I, should I turn it off or... No, oh, I'll leave it on for a little bit. Uh, let's go, let's go speak to, to my mum then. And uh, see what, uh, see if there's anything different I can do well, this uh, as better again. now. Ah. Oh, come on. We were this close to a real meltdown. Quit being such a fraidy cat, Alex. Okay, so he's turned the thing off. But is, is anything different now? Have, have we stayed, moved back? I didn't see that our, our ship moved back forward again. So I guess uh, we've just separated a little bit. We are going to bit. get blown to bits. Surely the ship's shields will protect us. There are I'll leave her alone. She's in the middle of something. There are no ship shields. Hmm, okay. I don't know. I don't know how that helped me. It got me to speak to the nav scarf and got me to be able to move. Um, but has it just moved closer again? That's what I'm not so. Uh, that's what I'm not so sure about. 
Um, let me go down into the, the nav scarf and see if anything's different it's now, easy. if I could persuade it to what move. Calls for the Space Weaver, leave us a new path right away. I cannot until we reach our destination, I'm afraid. There is no protocol for Hmm, okay, let's go and have a little look downstairs here. There's nothing I can do on this, is there? I wonder, if I messed with this navigation scarf some more, would it get us out of this jam? What do you mean, some more? Oh, I meant, uh, for the first time. Would that change our course? No. The scarf has already been fed into the navigation system. It will heed no knit nor pearl till we reach that destination. But please, don't touch it. That's a very sensitive part of the system. My hmm. advice is to just sit that back makes and me, enjoy the trip. That makes me feel like I kind of need to, to touch it. That it's very sensitive. Do you reckon I can, like, rub it or something? It's very sensitive. I am about to come down hmm. there and unplug you. Okay, a knife might be a bit harsh, but let's just see if anything happens. No, I think the space weaver would feel it. Oh, so he can actually feel it. Um, can this guy do anything to it? Oh, look! It made it laugh. It's very sensitive and ticklish. Like how ticklish? That information is given out on a need-to-know basis. Okay. Oh. Ooh, you know, you know how the other one was playing the harp. If I program this one with that same wiring, it'd be like it's tickling it. Let's let's give that a go, right? I've got the I've got the the note still, so I think it's um uh, I think it's blue uh, going across like this one here. I think this has got to work. It said it's it said it's really ticklish, and then yellow goes to this one. I think I think it's basically like a triangle, isn't it? Like like this to to here. Uh, let's see if this actually works and if it starts tickling. It's worth a go, isn't it? Is it going to do it? Yes, look, it's tickling. It's tickling the, uh, the nav scarf. <laughs> that is an extremely severe... Sensitive... Space Weaver, report. I'm experiencing severe... <laughs> what? What is it? Are you damaged? Stop. Stop it, please. <laughs> oh, hang on. I'm coming right down. My mums. <laughs> oh, she's leaving. Good the the mum's leaving. Girl. You keep them both occupied for a while, okay? I think I know what I need to do now. I've basically got Alex and uh, Hope distracted. So I think that now, if I go and, um, if I go and- Oh, oh Bella, watch me. my controls for a bit, would you? Our Absolutely. navigation bot seems to be malfunctioning. I shouldn't be gone too long. Okay, she's not gonna be uh, gone long, uh, so I think I need to act fast. But yeah, remember she kept deactivating uh, the uh, the grab arms. If I go and uh, switch it uh, so that uh, basically um, uh, Shay can control them, then I think I need to grab both mogs to together and then I need to destroy them. So, I think what I do need to do is try and destroy both mogs, but I don't know how we're going to, to survive, so I guess we're going to have to wait and see. So there we go, I've switched them to, to manual uh, rather than automatic. So now, if I go and do what I did before and have us both been hugged together and then set it off, this might actually work. So I now need to go to Shay, and I want to do this all very quickly before Hope gets back, which is why I'm kind of panicky. And so I need to go and, um, right, I need to go and, uh, oh no, I need to set this guy back to hammering. Oh, well, let's go turn the, the power on first, shall we? And uh, once I turn the power on, if I turn him back to hammering, then Alex is going to come down, uh, and then um, while he's distracted, uh, Vela can fire the death ray. And oh, I also need to set grab, uh, Grabby 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 Musson uh, to go and grab us close together. And then I think I might have done it, possibly. I'm getting a little bit excited about this. I'm looking forward to this. Right, so let's go and set old Grabby Grabby Grabison, uh, grabbing Gary, and uh, go and try and grab the uh, the old ships together. Hmm. I think we're in range, but nothing's happening. Must be getting interference from the outer hull. I need to find a clearer shot. Okay, well, I'll go upstairs quickly, find a clearer shot, and then come back down again. <laughs> Why do you make this hard for me, game? I've already worked out the puzzle. Please just let me grab us together. Right, let's go and use grabby, 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 Gary. Gary? Come in, Gary. Is it's it working? grabbing time again. Yes, 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 it's working. So this is going to pull us together, and then when I fire the death ray, it might destroy both of them. And I'm just going to assume that we're going to somehow get away safely throughout all of this. Yes. It's an honor to be grabbed by such a professional. And this is good because Hope uh, isn't in the uh, the control room, uh, so she's not going to go and uh, try and uh, uh, separate us uh, apart again uh, like she did before. Right, so now let's... Oh no! No, why is she back? No. Oh. Okay, maybe, maybe I needed to, to do it quicker uh, than I did before. Right, let's go back upstairs then, shall we? And uh, now let's go and uh, switch back over to, uh, to Bella. And uh, let's go and uh, try and get everything set up uh, again. So if I go back down here, I can go and just put the, the robot back down. And then I can get Hope out of uh, where she is. And then we can go and try and do it all again. Oh, where's the... Where's the robot gone? I've, lo I've, lost, I've lost my robot. 
Oh, this isn't fair. I, I need my <laughs> I need my my robot again. Uh, let me go and see. Do you reckon Hope's got there it? There you are, saboteur. Aha! Here he is. Right, let's go and uh, let's grab him him back then, shall we? And uh, let's go and set him off again. Uh, so that will go and get uh, Hope de distracted, and uh, then we can go and try and uh, carry on uh, with the other uh, plan as we did before. I'm basically battling uh, against uh, Alex and Hope as they keep sabotaging all of my attempts to sabotage. <laughs> right? Is he still in tickly mode, or do I need to reprogram him again? Nope. He's uh, he's back in a in a wavy mode. So uh, let's go and set him back to uh, to tickly mode then, shall we? So. I think the blue one goes like this here, and then it was just like a, a triangle, wasn't it? So it's uh, yellow to there, and then red uh, to, to there. I have pretty much memorized <laughs> the way to do all these wiring now. As let's go and uh, place him back down, and he should start tickling. There we go. Uh, so that's now got, um, uh, yeah, that's got the uh, the nav scarf all, all worked up. And now Hope should come down to try and fix it, hopefully. Uh, yeah, there we go. Hope's come down now. Uh, so now I can go and switch the uh, the arms back to, to manual. And uh, then that way I can go and make it grab again. And hopefully if we do this all quick enough, uh, then that way uh, Hope won't be able to, to get back to, to this room here. So let's go and press the button. And uh, this should switch the, the arms back to, to manual. Yep, just like that. And now if I go and switch to, to Shay, uh, I can now go and uh, use the, the grabber, uh, which is going to grab us uh, closely back to, together again. And hopefully this time, uh, Hope uh, won't be able to, to go uh, come back in and switch it over. Hopefully she's still uh, going to be distracted uh, by the, uh, by the, um, uh, the space weaver. That's the, that's the plan. Okay, nothing seems to have uh, happened yet, uh, which is good. It's exactly what I wanted. So let's go uh, back downstairs now, and uh, let's go and hey, try and set the drums off. Oh no! Oh no, she went and found it again. Okay, looks like I'm still missing a few pieces uh, to this puzzle. Oh, do you think, oh no, do you think I've got to lock her in that room? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure yet. It looks like I still got a few more final things uh, that I need to, to work out. But sadly, uh, I do have to, to end this episode here because it's already uh, gone on a, a lot longer than I wanted it to. So I thought we might be able to get to the uh, the end of this puzzle now, but it looks like we have run out of time. But don't worry, I've almost got all of the, the pieces of the puzzle in place. Uh, so in the next episode, hopefully I can just put them all together and uh, we can see what's going to happen next. Uh, so I'll be leaving a link in the description of the next episode, uh, which should be online soon. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all uh, later. Bye!